Well, Miles lost the sickness battle. It finally caught him, huh? You feeling yuck? Liar. He had a pretty wicked fever when he woke up this morning, too. But he's eating creamies, so that helps, huh? Got some ibuprofen. Holy moly, kid. What's the matter, Greg? So, everybody's sick, so we're lounging. I know I said I was going to lounge around the house today, but... There is a film company that is going to rent my 50 cal machine gun. And it is called Snowboard Snowboarders vs. Zombies. How fun is that? And they're going to mount my 50 cal machine gun to the front of a snowboard, which that's pretty freaking fun. So I got to run out to my parents' house to get the base for it. And then grab some lunch and come back home and take care of the family. All right. Got the 50 cal mount. Since they're mounting it on a snowboard, I had to chop off the ammo box because it's just too much weight. Can't imagine somebody snowboarding with a giant thing on there, so I'm trying to make it work for them. Now, I gotta go get some lunch for the family. I have no idea what to get. Nothing sounds good. I'm at that point of being sick. Everybody's lounging today, huh, Bray? How you feeling? Well, yeah, we got the 50 cal ready to go. So in case some of you guys are new to our channel, we are nerds. Yeah, we're nerds. We dress up for anything we can. We've got costumes for everything. And one of the projects I wanted to do was a gun wall for all of our prop weapons. We got a few of them here. But the problem is... I was gonna put them all on this pegboard and put some hooks, but I'm quickly realizing that most of my prop guns weigh too much and I'm worried about it bending the pegboard. So I'm not real sure what, what to do, especially this beast. We might have to hang it from the ceiling or something. I'm not real sure. Maybe build a shelf for it. I don't know. Does anybody have any ideas for something like this? I don't know. It seems a lot easier in my head. And now that I'm holding them, they are a lot heavier than I remember. So I have to come up with another plan. Maybe we'll have to stick it down in here in the dungeon. That Eventually, I want to make it into a safe room. The big locking door, because this is mostly used for our food storage, but there's still a lot of space in here that we can use. I thought maybe it would be a cool safe room, I don't know. So, I need to put a reinforced door. Maybe a hidden door would be cool, so, I don't know. Some of you guys don't know that, we, when we bought this house, we didn't know this, but in about 10 years, the city is gonna expand the road in front of our house and so they're going to buy this house and tear it down. So we only have about 10 years in it. So we're not sure what, what we want to invest into it. But we want to make it livable and fun. We're going to do some nerdy stuff like a, you know, cosplay craft room. And we're going to have a little nerd office. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan for now. Make it livable and fun. How you feeling, baby gray? How you feeling? You feeling a little bit better? Yeah. Got your medicine? <laughs> well, guys, that's all we got for today. I got to go to work, even though I tried to stay home. But, yeah. How's Cha feeling? How's Maya's feeling? Better? Good. <laughs> When he's got Tylenol in him, he's a whole different kid. As soon yep. as that Tylenol wears out, he's sick as a dog. Same with Gray. Once he gets his meds in him, he's much better. Can we go put these in there? Well, guys, you know the drill. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments. Hit the bell. Share our page. Share the page. Help us grow. And we will maybe see you tomorrow.